Hey everybody, welcome back to Tip of the Week. I'm Dylan with OnOne, and in this weekly video series, I'm going to show you tips and tricks that I've learned using OnOne Photo Raw 2018. In this week's video, I wanna show you how you can quickly enhance portraits using different retouching tools, local adjustments, and effects. And so I have my portrait here that I want to enhance, and I've already taken the liberty to adjust the overall tonality of the photo. So I'm gonna hit backslash on my keyboard to show you my original photo. And you can see that it was a little underexposed. And so I basically just upped the exposure a little bit and then brought back some of the detail in my midtones and shadows and then decreased the blacks to keep that sort of contrast on my photo. So now that I have my base look on my photo, now what I can do is I can start enhancing it. And the first thing I want to enhance are the eyes and the teeth. So a quick way to enhance eyes on a portrait is your local adjustments. So if I head over to local adjustments here, You'll notice that this new local adjustment layer has a bunch of different controls that I can use to enhance specific areas on my photo. What I like to do is I like to use these different styles up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to more styles and I'm going to select magic eye fixer. Magic eye fixer is going to increase the exposure a little bit, add a tad bit of contrast and then some detail to make the eyes pop. Now, if I zoom in on my photo here by hitting Z on my keyboard, now I can head to my masking brush and if I decrease the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on my keyboard, I can simply paint in where I want this adjustment to be applied to. And obviously that is insanely strong. So let's go to the opacity slider here and let's just turn that down to where we want it to be. I'd say about, I don't know, 22. Now if we turn that on and off, you'll see that it does a lot to enhance her eyes. Now what I wanna do is I just wanna enhance her teeth a little bit. The photo was a little underexposed out of camera and I think some of the color saturation in those shadow tones made her teeth look a little extra yellow. So what we can do here is we can just add another layer and we can use those same styles again and let's select toothbrush. Now I can do the same thing I did before and I can go in here and I can brush in where I want the adjustment to be applied to. Perfect. Now that's pretty strong as well. So let's just turn down the opacity And I'm actually going to decrease the temperature to cool it off a little bit. And then I'll decrease the saturation as well to remove any of those yellow colors. And let's go back and turn up the opacity again. And let's just down the exposure a little bit. And if I turn it on and off, you'll see that it does a lot to her teeth to enhance them and make them look a lot more white. Another great way to enhance portraits using local adjustments is to add in light on specific areas of your portrait. So see this area right here on her photo seems a little bit dark to me. So I can quickly add a new local adjustment layer and I'll make sure this one's set to lighten and I'll make my brush pretty big. I'm not really too worried about where I paint in on this light because I can always turn down the opacity. So let's make it a little smaller and if we just paint in on those areas that seem a little bit dark and we want a little bit brighter, do that. Let's do a little contrast there. And now what we can do is just turn down the opacity to bring back some of the detail in this area on her forehead, on her eye right here. So if we turn this on and off, you'll see that it blends in with this area down here a lot better and you can also see a lot more of her detail in her eye, her eyebrows, and underneath her hair right here. Now that we have our overall tonality for our photo set, what we can do now is retouch to remove any objects such as blemishes and also to soften skin. So if you see here, you have a few blemishes on the bottom of her face and we can remove those easily using the retouch brush here. So if I grab the retouch brush, all I need to do is just brush in where I want those areas to be removed. 
and or remove them instantly. So now that we've retouched your face a little bit to remove some of the blemishes, what we can do now is go into effects. And if I go to overall settings, I can add a new filter and I'm going to add skin retouching. And the best way to apply skin retouching is to grab this color dropper here and drop it on her skin tone. And now if you apply the strong style, you'll see that it does a ton to smooth up her face. I like to put on the strong style so that I can see where it's applied. And then what I do is I head into the masking options here and I invert the mask so that I can paint on where I want the skin retouching to be applied. So now that I have this inverted, I can use my masking brush and I'll decrease the size of it and I'll just paint in where I want the skin retouching to be applied. Okay, perfect. So now that we have our mask applied, what we can do now is we can use different styles in here. I like to use subtle. And then you can readjust how you want your skin retouching to look. So let's turn this on and off. And you'll see it does a lot to smooth her skin on her cheeks, on her nose, on her forehead, without smoothing any of her teeth or her eyes or her hair. So now I'm going to zoom out. And if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, you'll see that in not a lot of time, we've really enhanced this portrait using local adjustments, a retouch brush, and one effect. That's my tip of the week. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.